So this video is about installing a 4G LTE antenna. And I'm going to connect it to the TP-Link router. Just there. Before I connect it, let's look at the performance now. We've got signal strength of 25%. That's the RSRP, Q and SNR. And we can see that all of them are bad. I've created this little chart which shows the RSRP, the RSRQ and the SNR are in the bad range except for SNR which is really bad but it still works okay so this is a speed test and we can see that it's working it's working actually better than it was in the first video I created about the MR600 so that's not so bad that's good enough for me to watch videos on and up and down is not so bad onto the dedicated antenna when you buy it it has a really long cable like five meters with these two SMA connectors there, which I'll connect to the back of the router in a second. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to just attach it to my table just there. I've already put this on the roof and tried it out, and I know what the answer is, but I'm just going to put it here anyway, just so we can see the kind of performance I'm going to get from it. Okay, so that's near vertical now. I'm just going to power off the machine. There we go. Both rabbit ears are removed. Now to attach those. Okay, so now it's attached to the aerial there. And let's switch it back on. Okay, and after about a minute, it'll boot up and I should be able to compare the signal quality. Okay, now to log in again after it's rebooted, takes a minute. Okay, advanced tab, and we can see that the signal strength is still zero and the numbers are actually worse. So I'll try again. Yeah, the numbers are actually worse. So the aerial, in my case, sitting like that, is worse than using the two rabbit ears those two things folded like that. Now I've already tried this aerial outside and also in the roof and the performance was actually a little bit better but still not significant enough to warrant buying it. Also when I bought the aerial I did do my research. The MR600 router there supports bands 1 and bands 3. So this LTE frequency bands table that you get on Wikipedia Bands 1 and Bands 3 both show these ranges. Now those ranges are within the tolerance of the antenna. That is a photo of the base of the antenna showing the frequency ranges 1710 to 2700. So 1710 there, 1805, 1920, 2100 and a maximum number of 2170. They're all under 2700 as well. It says here gain of 10 to 12 decibels. I'm not seeing that. If I go back to this page and just try again, see what we got. No, it's still zero. Okay, so it's no good. Now I've already tried putting that outside the window and I didn't get a better performance either. Now I'm quite far from any of the 4G towers around here, so that is why my signal quality is bad. And since I'm not in line of sight of any LTE or 4G towers, I cannot use a directional aerial. I need to use an omni aerial like this here and I'm not going to use it and quickly let's just try a speed test using the aerial okay and that's the signal quality that I'm getting through the aerial it's actually worse and we can see that and we can see that here as well very poor anyway I'm gonna be putting the rabbit ears back on positioned like that Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. And just to show you, I've been experimenting with it slightly and I put it next to the window, leaned over a little bit and now I've got 25%, 0.6 decibels. Let's refresh that again, 25.2, 50%, 1 decibel. I mean, I never go 50% with the rabbit ears, but it's still 1 decibel and they're both pretty bad according to my chart. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.